University Challenge. Asking the questions, Amol Rajan. Hello and welcome to a new series of University Challenge. Another 28 of the UK's best student quiz teams have made it through our exacting annual application process. Representing universities and colleges from Edinburgh to Exeter and now they're about to face between them somewhere in the region of 3,000 very tough questions across 37 matches as they compete to be crowned University Challenge champions. What's now Queen's University Belfast began life in the 1840s as a college of the Queen's University of Ireland, established by Queen Victoria as a non-denominational alternative to Trinity College Dublin. It became an independent university in 1908, with notable students since including the physicist John Bell, the anthropologist Rita Segato and the politician Mary McAleese. Only one team from Queen's has ever won this competition back in 1981. Let's meet the team, hoping they'll be second. Hi, I'm Sarah Carlyle. I'm from Balna Hinch in County Down and I'm studying English with Creative Writing. Hi, I'm Jason McKillen. I'm from Belfast. I'm studying for a PhD in Artificial Intelligence. And their captain? Hi, I'm Daniel Rankin from County Down, studying politics, philosophy and economics. Hi, I'm Sam Thompson. I'm from Limavady and I'm studying physics. The University of Liverpool gained its Royal Charter in 1903, having also started out as a college of the short-lived Federal Victoria University. It's home to England's third oldest university press and was home to the world's first academic institution dedicated to the study of tropical medicine, which has recently become a university in its own right. The writer Lytton Strachey, the architect James Sterling and the poet Carol Ann Duffy have all studied there and its best results in this competition to date have been two semi-final finishes in 2006 and 2016. Let's meet this year's team from Liverpool. Hi, my name's Joyce Sajet, I'm from Derby and I'm studying chemistry. Hi, uh, my name's Isabel Day, I'm studying veterinary medicine and I'm from the Peak District. And their captain? Hi, my name's Neil Williams, I'm from Formby in Merseyside and I'm studying for a PhD in philosophy. Hiya, I'm Harry Ashcroft, I'm from South Cerny in Gloucestershire and I'm studying history and politics. Feeling ready? Let's crack straight on. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. Here is your first starter for 10. What six letter word could mean all of the following? In electronics, the momentary value of an analog signal that is being converted to a digital signal. In medicine, a specimen for analysis. In music, part of a recording that is reused in another composition. Queen's Thompson. A uh, sample. It is a sample, yes. Your bonuses then, Queens, are on musicians who have been awarded posthumous Pulitzer Prizes for their contributions to music. In each case, please name the artist from the description. First, awarded a posthumous Pulitzer in 1976, a pianist and composer born around 1868, whose works include one ballet, two operas, and numerous pieces for the piano, including Maple Leaf Rag. Scott Joplin, wasn't it? Uh, Scott Joplin? Yes. Secondly, a pianist and composer born in 1917, whose compositions include Round Midnight, Ruby My Dear, and Well You Needn't. His posthumous Pulitzer was awarded in 2006. Is Thelonious Monk? Thelonious Monk? It is. And finally, a singer of jazz, blues and soul, awarded a posthumous Pulitzer in 2019, quote, for her indelible contribution to American music and culture for more than five decades. She was the first woman to be inducted into the rock and roll Hall of Fame. Maybe Aretha Franklin? Yeah. Aretha Franklin? It is Aretha Franklin. Yes. Let's start the question now. In about 85 CE, which city on the River Rhine became the capital of the Roman province of Lower Germany? It was later the seat of an archbishop elector and an imperial free city before being incorporated into Prussia in 1815. Today, it is the largest city of North Rhine-Westphalia. Queen's rank here. Cologne. It is Cologne, yes. Uh, your bonuses then, Queens, are three questions on 20th century history. Which 20th century conflict ended with an armistice signed at Pan Mun Jom? Korean War. Korean War? Yes, 1950 to 53, of course. The original boundary line between North and South Korea is conventionally referred to as which numbered parallel corresponding to its latitude? 38th. 38th. Yeah. 38th? Yes. Who was the first president of the South Korean Republic, his tenure including the period of the Korean War? I need surname and given name. Singman Ri. Singman Ri. Correct, yes. Let's start the question now. 
On its first appearance, which reference work had the subtitle A Dictionary of Arts and Sciences, compiled upon a new plan in which the different sciences and arts are digested into distinct treatises or systems, and the various technical terms, etc., are explained as they occur in the order of the alphabet? It was first published in three volumes in Edinburgh in 1771. Queen's Carlisle. The Encyclopaedia Brit Britannica. Correct, yes. Your bonuses are on the Académie Française, or French Academy, and its recommendations regarding the use of Anglicisms. The Academy criticised newspaper sports reports for using what three-letter abbreviation of an English phrase in place of the word abandon? This abbreviation could have been applied to, for example, Mark Cavendish on the eighth day of the 2023 Tour de France. DNF. 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 Well done, yes, but did not finish. The Academy recommends avoiding what four-letter English words, since the words chaleureux, douillet and confortable already exist? Four letters. Now, we'll pass. It's cosy. Um, the Academy recommends nouveau, or debutant, instead of what word for a new recruit, used particularly in sporting contexts in North America? Oh, yes, probably is. Uh, rookie? It is rookie, yes. That's out of question. Hyaline and elastic are types of what connective tissue that is characterised by cells called... Uh, Liverpool cartilage. Day. Cartilage. It is cartilage. Well done, yes. <laughs> right, your bonus is Liverpool. Our three questions on chemical molecular geometry. What term describes the shape of a chemical molecule whereby a central atom is covalently bonded to four peripheral atoms? An example of such a molecule is methane, and the bond angle within this type of molecule is 109.5 degrees. Tetrahedral. 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 Correct. What two-word term describes the shape of a symmetric molecule where a central atom is covalently bonded to three peripheral atoms? An example of this type of molecule is boron trifluoride, and the bond angle is 120 degrees, since all three peripheral atoms are in the same plane. Trigonal planar. I'm going to nominate. Nominate, Sajit. Trigonal planar. Yes. What term describes the shape of a symmetric molecule where a central atom is covalently bonded to two peripheral atoms? An example of this type of molecule includes carbon dioxide, where the bond angle is 180 degrees. Okay. Linear. Linear. Good job you've got a chemist on your team, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Picture round now. And for your picture starter, you're going to see a flag. And for 10 points, identify the autonomous territory that this flag represents. Queen's Thompson. Greenland. It is Greenland, yes. <laughs> for your picture starter, you saw the two-tone flag of Greenland. And for your picture bonuses, you're going to see three more two-tone flags, this time represented in black and white. For five points, identify the two correct colours of each. First, from a country in southeast Europe. It's red and yellow. Then. Red and yellow. Yes, that's the flag of North Macedonia. Secondly, this design is used on two national flags. One belongs to an East African country, and that's the one whose colours you need to identify. Blue and white. Blue and white. Yes, that was the flag of Somalia. The flag of Vietnam has the same design, of course, uh, but in red and yellow. And finally, from a South Asian country. Um, green and red, right? That's Bangladesh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Green and red. Green and red for Bangladesh. As you well done. Let's start the question now. An adaptation of a 1981 Broadway musical, what was the first live-action film to receive three Academy Award nominations for Best Original Song? It was nominated for the songs Patience, Love You, I Do, and Listen. The first performed by Eddie Murphy, Keith Robinson, and Anika Noni Rose. The second by Jennifer Hudson. And the third... Uh, Liverpool Williams. Dreamgirls. It is Dreamgirls, yes. yes. The third was uh, Beyonce, of course. Uh, your bonuses in Liverpool are on the small number of film directors who have won the Palm Door twice. Name each director from their two winning films. First, The White Ribbon and Amour. It's Michael Haneke. Michael Haneke? Yes. Secondly, The Square and Triangle of Sadness. Oh, God, I saw this one. Guillermo del Toro. No, you are going to kick yourself. It's Ruben Ursland. Finally, The Wind That Shakes the Barley and I, Daniel Blake. I don't know. Ken Loach. Ken Loach? It is, of course, Ken Loach. <laughs> Let's start the question. Sharing its usual English title with a horror themed arcade shooter game franchise, 
which Dostoevsky novel is based upon the author's imprisonment in the Katorga labour camps and features the character Alexander Goryanchikov? Uh, Liverpool sent it. Notes from underground. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. You can hear a bit more of the question, but you may not confer, Queens. Alexander Goryanchikov adapting to life in the barracks. Queens Rankin. The idiot. No, it's the House of the Dead. Let's start the question. Produced largely in the gut's enterochromaffin cells via the hydroxylation and decarboxylation of tryptophan, which neurotransmitter regulates mood and appetite and is considered, along with others such as dopamine, to be a happy hormone? Queen's McKillen. Serotonin. It is serotonin. <laughs> Your bonuses then, Queen's, are on types of sandwich either created in or principally associated with the United States. Name each from the description. First, a grilled sandwich consisting of sliced salt beef, cheese, sauerkraut, and either Russian or Thousand Island dressing on rye bread. Several people have been proposed as its namesake, including a New York deli owner and a Nebraskan grocer. Uh, Nominate McCone. Uh, Reuben. It is Reuben. Secondly, a variant of a croque monsieur in which a sandwich of Swiss cheese and deli meat on white bread is dipped in its entirety in an egg batter and then fried. Its two word name refers, for unknown reasons, to a major work of French literature. <laughs> Uh, Les Miserables. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's Monte Cristo. And oh, it's delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a sandwich consisting of minced beef, onions and peppers in tomato sauce <laughs> served on a hamburger bun. It is usually said to be named after one or the other of two notable bars, one in Havana and one in Key West. Sure? Uh, uh, Nominee Thompson. Sloppy Joe. That is the Sloppy Joe, yes, well done. <laughs> Let's start the question now. The city block commonly known in English as the Block of Discord is a major landmark in which European city? Located in the Echampla district, it includes examples of modernist architecture by Louis Domenech e Montane and Josep Puch e Cadafalque, as well as the famous Casa Batlo by Antonio... Ah. Liverpool Sanchez. Barcelona. It is Barcelona, yeah. yes. With Gaudi. Your bonuses, Liverpool, are on people featured in the central panel of Mary Beth Edelson's 1972 work, Some Living American Women Artists, in which they are posed in a parody of Leonardo's Last Supper. Name each from the description. First, a French-born American artist who painted Femme Maison, a series in which women's heads are replaced by houses. She became widely known in later life for her massive spider sculpture, Maman. Um, oh, yeah, no, it's It's, I think it's Louise Bourgeois. Louise Bourgeois. Yeah, Louise Bourgeois. Yes. Yeah. Secondly, an American artist who, along with her husband, Robert Motherwell, was one half of the so-called golden couple of abstract expressionism. Important in the development of colour field painting, her works include Eden and Mountains and Sea. I think it might be Georgia O'Keeffe. Yeah, go for it. Go for sure. it. Georgia O'Keeffe. It's Helen Frankenthaler. Oh, Finally, know. an American artist known for her scenes of New Mexico and paintings of animal skulls. In 2014, her work, Jimson Weed, White Flower Number no. 1, became the most expensive painting ever by a female artist. That might be Georgia O'Keeffe. Okay. Yeah. Is that Georgia O'Keeffe? That one is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Music round now. And for your music starter, you're going to hear a hip-hop track. For 10 points, I want you to tell me the year that it was first released as a single. Queen's Rankin. 2000. It was 2000. <laughs> a real Slim Shady by Eminem. Uh, were you born in 2000? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, your bonuses then, uh, Queens. Your music starter was, of course, The Real Slim Shady by Eminem, which was released as the lead single for the album The Marshall Mathers LP in 2000 and was subsequently named Track of That Year by The NME. Your music bonuses are three more songs that were voted Track of the Year by The NME. Uh, in each case, tell me the year that the song was first released. First, for five points... Correct, yes, well done. Yes, I was ever falling in love with someone you shouldn't have by the Buzzcocks. <laughs> Secondly. Good afternoon. Yeah. Okay. 1993. Well done. That was Cannonball <laughs> by the Breeders. And finally... Uh, 1989. It's a clean sweep. Well done, yes. She bangs the drums by the 
Stone roses. Right, another starter question now. From the 18th century, the Japanese word rangaku referred to the body of knowledge developed in Japan through its contact with people of what nationality? Queen's Thompson. Dutch. Yes, it is the Dutch. Well done. Your bonuses and queens are three questions on plants of the Rubiaceae or Madder family. The ground roots of Rubia tinctorum or Madder yield a substance known as alizarin. Before the Industrial Age, this had what principal use in addition to its medicinal one? As a dye. A dye? Correct. Some species of the Cinchona genus are a source of what alkaloid used to treat malaria for several hundred years? The alkaloid's name is derived from the Quechua for bark. Is that like cinnamon? Is it really sure? Do you reckon? Yeah. Cinnamon? No, it's quinine. Finally, Arabica and Canephora are species of what major commercial plant? The main variety of the... Coffee? Latin... Yes, it is coffee, yeah, why not? Uh, another start of the question. Which of Shakespeare's plays begins with a single word, bosun? Other memorable utterances in this play include... Uh, Liverpool Williams. The Tempest. It is The Tempest, yeah. yes, well done. <laughs> Your bonus is Liverpool, are three questions on church and state. The relationship of church and state is one of many ideas examined by which doctor of the Roman Catholic Church in The City of God, written in the early 5th century? And St. Augustine of Hippo. Well done. Oh, Used, for example, of post-Reformation England and Scotland, what name, after a Swiss theologian, is given to the idea that the state is superior to the church in ecclesiastical matters? Um, OK, so not, not sure what that one is. <clears throat> Pass. That was Erastianism, after Thomas Erastus. Whose reign saw the second of two acts of supremacy, the act that declared the monarch to be the supreme governor of the Church of England? Yeah, go try it. Henry VIII? No, I'm afraid I needed Elizabeth the first. Henry VIII's act of supremacy, 1534, was actually the first of those two acts. Now, I'll start a question. In mathematics, what six-letter word has all the following meanings? In topology, the number of times a mapping between two manifolds wraps the domain manifold around the codomain manifold. In graph theory, the number of edges that end at a particular vertex. In algebra, the highest power of any individual term in a polynomial. And in geometry, a unit of angle measurement. Uh, Liverpool Sanchet. Degree. Correct, yes. Uh, Your bonus is Liverpool with three questions on the author and translator Claire Pollard. Pollard's 2013 work, Heroines, is a translation of the Heroides, an influential work by which Roman poet? His other works include the Ars Amatoria and the Metamorphoses. Oh, that's Ovid. Yeah, okay, go for it. Ovid, please. Ovid. Yes. What is the title of Pollard's fourth poetry collection? The word in question can mean a child believed to have been substituted for another by stealth. It also appears in the title of a 1622 tragedy by Thomas Middleton and William Rowling. A changeling. Yes, it is. The 2019 non-fiction work, Fierce Bad Rabbits, The Tales Behind Children's Picture Books, has a title that references a 1906 work by which children's author? Um, Sweet, 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 Sweet Speaker. Yeah, Beatrix Potter. Anything like that? Beatrix Potter. I think it's right here. Yeah, that sounds about right. OK, go for it. Beatrix Potter? Yes, well done. Let's start a question. Things on buzzers. Derived, ultimately, from Sanskrit, what common name is applied both to a spice native to South... Liverpool Ashcroft. Bargy. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. You may not confer, but you can hear more of the question, Queens. A spice native to South India, with common varieties including Malabar and Telecherry, and to unrelated New World vegetables of the capsicum genus, ranging in flavour from the bell to the ghost, also known as Butt Jolokia. Queens Thompson. Pepper. It is Pepper, yes, well done. Your bonuses then, Queens, are three questions on urban design. The subject of Robert Caro's biography, The Power Broker. Robert Moses was a principal construction planner in the 20th century in which major US city? New York. He was. In which US city did the architects Daniel Burnham and John Wellborn Root design many influential buildings, such as the Rookery Building and the Monadnock Building in the late 19th century? US, was it? Go for it. I don't know. I uh, could be Chicago or something. Vernon. Chicago? It is. Described by one contemporary newspaper as a stingy piece of pie, which building at the intersection of Broadway and Fifth Avenue in New York was designed by Burnham's company and opened in 1902? 
Yeah. The only one I can have is the Grand Island building. Is that? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Empire State was thirties. So Christ, yeah. Could be I think it was twenties. What, what, what did you I say? The Grand Island building, but uh, flat, flat Iron. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flat Iron building. It is. Well yeah. worked out. Yes. Uh, no, start a question now. Plenty of time, Liverpool. Uh, I need a two-word answer here. This is a quote. It has been killed many times over by philosophers, but no matter how many stakes are driven through its heart, it arises unbidden in the minds of scientists. These words of the US philosopher Tim Maudlin describe which theory of knowledge centred on the verification principle? Queen's Rankin. Empiricism. No. Is it true Liverpool belief? Williams. True belief. No, it's logical positivism. See if you get going again with this one, Liverpool. What four-letter surname links all of the following? The Irish architect and furniture designer noted for the Dragon's armchair, the English physicist who gives his name to the SI unit of absorbed radiation dosage... Uh, Liverpool Sanchez. Beer. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. The Scottish writer, artist model and wife of John Everett Millet and the English... <laughs> Queen's Thompson. Grey. It is Grey, yes, of course. Your bonuses then, Queens, are three questions on scientists whose names include the name of a month. In 1890, the German chemist August Kekulé is said to have discovered the structure of what molecule after dreaming about a snake consuming its own tail? Uh, Banzing. Benzing. Benzing? Yes. Born in 1936, Robert May won the Copley Medal for his work on modelling animal population dynamics. He was an early proponent of what mathematical field which looks at the patterns of complex, seemingly random systems? No, we'll pass. Chaos theory. In 1964, the Scottish virologist June Almeida identified what previously unknown group of viruses named for a blurry halo or crown that becomes visible under the electron microscope? Yeah, yeah. Corona viruses. It is coronaviruses, yes. <laughs> uh, picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a self-portrait. For ten points, name the artist. Uh, Liverpool Day. Aubrey Beardsley. Correct, yes. <laughs> well done. Following on from the self-portrait of Aubrey Beardsley that you saw for your picture starter, your bonuses are three of Beardsley's portraits of his contemporaries. Name the subject in each case. First, this French writer. What are we thinking, guys? French mm -hmm. writers from the early 1900s? Proust. Uh, French writers, French writers. We have a we'll go for Proust, then. Marcel Proust. No, it's Emile Zola. Secondly, uh, this artist. I want to say, like, Salvador Dali or something. He looks a bit like a little bit crazy, but... Mm. I don't know if he... Are they all French? He's being asked, uh, No, he just said this artist, oh, so... Right. Yeah. I don't think it's him, but... Uh, Dali. No, it's Whistler. And finally... Oh, that's Oscar Wilde. Yeah, that's definitely Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Yes. Let's start the question now. <laughs> Listen to the statement and answer the question that follows. In the periodic table, three of the four chemical elements named after the Swedish village of Itterby... Uh, Liverpool sent it. I'm afraid if you buzz, you have to answer straight away, I'm afraid, so that you lose five points, are lanthanides, which is the only one of the four not in that series. Queens Thompson. Itrium. Itrium is correct, yes. Uh, your bonuses then, Queens, are three questions now on an economic concept. Named after the economist Arthur Laffer, the Laffer curve follows which statistical distribution in describing its theory of tax to revenue? Which distribution? Just be normal or Gaussian? Uh, Gaussian? Yes, a Gaussian or normal distribution, yeah. Uh, Laffer first presented his curve to staff members of which US president before it became policy under the Reagan administration? Carter, remember? Could be Ford, even Ford, even. Gerald Ford? It was Ford, yes. Yeah. Influenced by Laffer's theory, which economic theory claims that tax cuts for the rich would generate prosperity for everyone else in society? That's part of economics. Just trickled on? Yeah, trickled on. Trickled on economics? Yeah, it's trickled on economics. Let's right. <laughs> start the question now. Zydeco is a genre of music associated with which US state? It evolved from blues, R&B, and the local... <laughs> Queens Rankin. Arizona. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. And the local folk music of the French Creoles of the region. Uh, Liverpool Williams. Louisiana. It is Louisiana, yes. <laughs> Your bonus is then, Liverpool, with three questions on historical taxes. Established under the Ancien Regime, the Gabelle was a medieval French tax that primarily taxed what commodity? In 1930, Mahatma Gandhi led a march to Dandi in Gujarat to protest the taxation of it. Salt. Yes. Deriving from Latin, what name was given to the tax levied on knights by a lord in lieu of military service? King John's excessive use of this tax contributed to the First Barons' War. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not sure. I don't know. 
Scutage. Pass. Scutage. As part of a series of westernising reforms, which Russian ruler imposed a tax on the wearing of beards throughout the empire, charging up to 100 rubles annually? It's either Alexander the Third or Nicholas Alexander. Alexander. Alexander III. Alexander III. No, it was Peter the Great. Let's start the question. The Woodland Trust 2023 Tree of the Year was a 480-year-old sweet chestnut in which Welsh city that achieved city status in 2022? The tree is in Acton Park, about one mile from the racecourse ground. Uh, Liverpool Port Williams. Port Talbot. No, anyone would ever go from Queen's quickly? <laughs> Queen's Thompson. St David's. No, I'll tell you, it's Wrexham. Let's start the question. What was the first country to win both the women's and men's FIFA World Cups? The most recent of these wins came in 2007 uh, and... Liverpool Williams. Germany. Yes, it was Germany. <laughs> Your bonuses are three questions on novels with a shared word in their title. The winner of the inaugural Women's Prize for Fiction, Helen Dunmore's 1995 novel set in early 20th century England, concerns a brother and sister abandoned by their parents. Its title is a spell of what? I have no idea if that was... Uh, swords, I don't know. Swords? No, Winter. A library assistant called Catherine Lind is a title character of the 1947 book A Girl in Winter. This was the second and final novel by which British poet? Like, uh, Dylan Thomas, I don't know. Dylan Thomas? Bad luck is Larkin. Who is the author of The Winter Ghosts, set in the French Pyrenees in 1928? She also wrote the Long Doc trilogy, beginning with Labyrinth in 2005? I have no idea. Uh, Mary Douglas, I don't know. Mary Douglas. No, it's Kate Moss. Let's start the question. The name of what bird is given by pronouncing the symbols of the two lightest charged leptons in order of increasing mass? Queen's Thompson. Emu. It is the emu, yes. Your bonuses, Queen's, are three questions on astronomy. What is the name of the astronomer who, in 1705, discovered that a single periodic comet was responsible for several sightings over preceding centuries and predicted that it would return in 1758? Yeah. Hi. Yes, Halley's Comet is the parent of two meteor showers. Name either? That uh, will pass. That's the Orionids and the Eta Aquarius. And finally, in which year will Halley's Comet make its next close approach to the sun? You can have one year either way. Uh, 2063. It's, I can't accept that, it's 2061. And that had gone, Liverpool University of 125 and Queen's University of Belfast of 240. <laughs> oh, guys. Who knows, 125 might be good enough for you guys to come back, but then it might not. <laughs> well. Have you vaguely enjoyed the experience? Definitely. Yeah, it's yeah, been brilliant. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. You've been up against a really, really strong team as well, so enormous, enormous congratulations, Queens. I've got to ask you about the weirdest mascot that I've ever seen. What on earth is that spud potato doing in front of you guys? Um, that's Percy. We were trying to think what we could use as a mascot, and I sort of joked about sticking googly eyes on a potato. I've knit him a wee scarf, and the rule was if we get through to the next round, I'll knit him another scarf in a different colour. If you do come back, will it be the same potato, or will you get a new potato? That depends on the potato. Right, well, we shall see you and perhaps a rotting potato uh, again soon. <laughs> well, I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it is goodbye from Liverpool University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Queen's University, Belfast. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>